Warning guys, CEP is not forever. That is CEP extensions. Hey guys, welcome to this week's quick tip tutorial. In this quick one, I'm going to be talking about how CEP extensions or the current state of extensions in most Adobe programs is not forever. This is sort of a warning video to get you ready and maybe get you a little bit inspired to start learning the next thing that will be replacing them. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow me on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the description down below by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. This comes with cool perks like badges, Discord status, weekly live streams, and much more. And also in the description, make sure you check out the links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to check out some of the other tools and products I create. So if you're totally new to the Adobe universe, CEP extensions are basically any of the extensions you can run in Adobe programs under window extensions. And these are like supercharged scripts that have nicer user interfaces, but can also run scripts below them. And it's important to note that this is not forever and everything is in the process of changing. If you already use Photoshop, you're familiar that CEP extensions are considered legacy. While most of the time they're still usable, they are already much more long in the transition uh, of being replaced completely by what are called UXP plugins. UXP plugins are basically replacing CEP and possibly some parts of scripting as well. And it's important to distinguish that it is capital UXP underscore plugins. And Adobe is very specific about how they want this to be uh, spelled. So just, just note that, especially if you're uh, doing advertising for your UXP plugins being uploaded, they want it to be spelled exactly like this. Uh, UXP plugins are basically what Adobe is doing to rewrite how extensions will work to allow more compatibility with newer computers, more speed because it's using uh, mu a much more efficient engine, and also support for things like React. But in the process of this migration, a lot of things are not going to be uh, supported any longer, and some things will take a while to then become supported, if at all. Things like uh, CSS animations and HTML canvases and a variety of other things like Node.js are not currently supported. Perhaps in the future they will be, but it's important to note as there is this transitionary period from CEP extensions to UXP plugins, uh, there's going to be a lot of question marks about whether things are supported and uh, upgrading your, your old extensions to plugins may need some refactoring. So as of 2022, Photoshop and technically Adobe XD, if you use it, are the only programs to offer UXP plugins. Uh, you can code the interfaces for other programs, but the scripting functionality that is required to actually interact with the Adobe program itself is really only there for Photoshop. And like I said, in most cases, you can still use your CE panels from within Photoshop, but at a certain point, what Adobe has made clear is that CEP will be completely phased out and the scripting DOM will probably be changed and updated as well. So if you have any extensions in Photoshop, it's good to start learning about this to be ready to start updating them uh, because Adobe has made it quite clear uh, that they do plan on completely getting rid of support for them to where you can't even open your CEP uh, extension. And I believe currently on M1 or uh, Metal Max, I'm pretty sure they removed the ability to use CEP without some sort of compatibility mode. Uh, I've seen some forum posts where I think there are some sort of compatibility tools that allow you to run older versions of Adobe Photoshop and run CEP extensions, but uh, this shows us that eventually we have to upgrade. The same reason you ha no longer have support for old Adobe versions, say you wanna download CS6, uh, CC 2014, even CC 2019, you can't download anymore. So it's important to stay with the times. Yes, it's frustrating that things change, but in the end, this is all going to be for the better to have faster running plugins that uh, have a lot more features and compatibility uh, in the background. So if you have an M1 Mac, you probably are already aware that uh, your CEP in Photoshop is being 
basically removed and you should use UXP. And the timeline for all of this has been unclear. Uh, there are lots of places you can get inklings and rumors from, from the UXP developer forums. There are a few channels, like a Slack channel. There might be a Discord channel somewhere, but where UXP developers and people that actually work at Adobe discuss a lot of this stuff and people ask for updates or compatibility questions of what is going to be supported and whatnot. But the timeline is really unclear. So the sooner you start learning UXP, the better. It is much more complicated than creating scripts and much more complicated, I would say, than even creating uh, a, C a CEP extension because it, a lot of it is using React. You have the ability to use React or vanilla JavaScript and HTML, but a lot of the cooler functionality is, is a lot more complicated and requires that you know React. And the hard part is that all of this is being done program by program. Uh, while the it sort of interface side of C uh, UXP is the same regardless of application, which is kind of the nice part about it, the hard part is that they are rewriting the sort of scripting DOM. So all of the scripting functionality that previously existed that you could write with the JSX file, a lot of the functions are the same, but a lot of it is being completely rewritten from scratch, requires uh, that you respect asynchronicity and synchronous functions and deal with a lot of that. And that is sort of one of the hard parts is even if you were forced to upgrade your Photoshop uh, extension to be a UXP plugin today and had no more support for CEP, a lot of the stuff is not yet developed or compatible. So a lot of the scripting functions that are previously available aren't yet there, but each version they update from say CC 2021 to CC 22, they are adding a lot more functionality. This is all being done program by program. So everything is being done and rewritten, meaning that there is gonna be a transition phase for each of the Adobe programs. The transition phase for Photoshop is obviously much more ahead than uh, After Effects, Premiere, or anything else. And those programs might be even more separated, we don't know yet. Uh, and during this phase, some of your products and code might stop working completely, especially if you just try and do a simple port to a UXP plugin. And a lot of the stuff will stop being compatible with the new scripting or UXP formatting, or it could be something that never receives support again. Uh, so I have some extensions which use Node.js libraries. As of right now, UXP has very, very, very limited support for Node. Uh, it's actually not even like for the libraries that do useful stuff. Um, and this is just one of the things we have to deal with moving forward. So CEP is not forever. It's going to eventually uh, be completely replaced by UXP plugins. And this is still something Adobe themselves are working on for each of the individual programs. But it is important that if you have existing extensions that are out there or you have existing scripts that you start to learn this because it is going to be the future cep is not forever no matter what i said in previous videos or what anyone else tells you adobe themselves and the people that are actually working on these upgrades have said so themselves that it is not forever uxp is next but that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did hit the thumbs up button down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description you can follow us on github for coding updates as well as instagram for other live updates if you're not already a member of our discord server make sure you come and join to get help with scripting extensions plugins uxp plugins of course expressions tut uh, tutorial ideas and much more and if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so by becoming a member in the description. You can also become a supporter, a premium supporter, or VIP. This comes with cool perks like badges, Discord status, code in advance, and much more. And in the description, make sure you check out the links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange, where I upload useful tools and things that you can try out. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.